I want to get started on the new screw for the Vivo Vice, but I'm waiting for some parts. So in the meantime, I'm going to make a new pole for this Harrison 140 tool post. Now the pole needs to be 12 and a half millimeters in diameter. I'm going to be using this bit of half inch silver steel so I can harden and temper it. I found a spring. So the point is this was missing when I got the lathe. Found a spring, done some measurements. This is what I'm shooting for. So 45 degree point, a two millimeter flat on the end, overall 38 millimeters long, except for this peg that's going on the end to take the spring. Should be straightforward. The only complication is these are curved. So it's curved in the bottom and it's curved where it's cut away there as well. So I'll make the basic shape and then I'll have to file it so that the pole drops in. I mean, I could narrow the pole. It looks like from the markings on here, uh, the pole wasn't the full width of the peg. So we'll see. I'll make the basic shape first and we'll go from there. Right, we'll put the peg on. coming on but we have to change the design a bit I hadn't thought it through of course so I'm going to have to uh, make the pole half the width of the bar so basically I need to put a flat on across there I could do this a lot quicker on the mill but the mill vice is in pieces and I don't want to put the vertical head on as well so we'll carry on like this. This is where I could do with a table stop, really. Well, it's the usual fluid design, make it up as you go along. This is pretty much what you see there. But instead of that being 45 degrees, I increase the angle a little bit. And then I don't have to worry about this curved back edge here because that angle there clears it. So I'm just going to file a slight radius on there so that it's smoother across that edge. And then really it's just hardening and tempering. I think we better test it before heat treatment. It's got a nice click to it, hasn't it? Yeah, that's all right. I've got this rig so that if the piece falls off the wire, it just goes straight into the water. and now tempered to blue. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's a nice purpley blue. Try and get it the right way around. Uh, yes, that way I think. It doesn't always want to drop in. And I don't know whether you can hear that, but as it goes round, 
there's much more of a ting which tells me that it's hardened and tempered. Let's see. Well, I think so. I'm going to say so. It might be true. So that's a nice little job finished. Yeah, I like that. Ooh, yes, yes. All right, that's enough. About 10 years ago, a friend gave us a pot of poppy seeds and they've been in my garage forever. And last year, I just threw them on the ground. Look how they've come out. 